Day after day, people from all over the world have a second chance to start their lives again after surviving some catastrophe or having been in a terrible accident. Tsutomu Yamaguchi, however, was a man who in life had to face the fear of being present not only in one but in two catastrophes that ended the lives of hundreds of thousands of people in his country. We are talking about the pitiful incident of the atomic bombs. August 6, 1945, Tsutomu Yamaguchi, a Japanese citizen, only 29 years old at the time, was on a business trip in the city of Hiroshima. Suddenly at 8.15 in the morning, the blast of an atomic bomb occurred. The lives of at least 80,000 people were lost that day. Tsutomu was three kilometers away from where the explosion had occurred. However, the distance didn't prevent his body from being covered in wounds. Ironically, that day was supposed to be the day when Tsutomu Yamaguchi had to return to his hometown in Nagasaki. In fact, just minutes before the blast, the Japanese citizen was on his way to the train station that had taken back to Nagasaki. But it was because he forgot his boarding pass that he had to return to the office where he had been working to get it back. According to his story, when he was by the docks, he saw in the distance an American bomber, B-29 Superfortress, who threw the atomic bomb, Little Boy. The next thing he remembered was a white flash that covered the whole sky. As a consequence, Yamaguchi was temporarily blind, his eardrums broke and his body was covered with multiple wounds and severe burns. Eventually, he and two co-workers with whom he planned to return to Nagasaki were reunited and left the city. Now anyone who had been injured in the recent catastrophe had the right to remain in a medical care center where they could check their wounds. However, Yamaguchi decided to do what not so many people in the world would do today. He went back to work. August 9th, only three days had passed since the U.S. government had decided to launch an atomic bomb in the city of Hiroshima. Yamaguchi was in the offices of the company for which he worked in Nagasaki, explaining to his supervisors what had happened after the explosion of an atomic bomb that ended up with the lives of tens of thousands of people in Hiroshima. Suddenly, at 11 o'clock in the morning, there was a blast caused by a new atomic bomb called Fat Man. Fortunately, Tsutomo was again three kilometers away from where the explosion had occurred, and although this time he did not suffer from any injury, he had a high fever for over a week. Hundreds of thousands of people died in the attacks of the atomic bombs, and although it's known at least 69 citizens were affected by both attacks, Tsutomo Yamaguchi was the only person recognized by the government of his country to have survived the explosion of both weapons of mass destruction. On January 4, 2010, Tsutomo Yamaguchi died at the old age of 93 in his hometown, Nagasaki, due to a stomach cancer that he had been developing for years. Every day, people from all over the world have a new opportunity to start over. Tsutomo Yamaguchi had two. What would you do if you survived a catastrophe like this? Would you make any changes in your life? Let us know in the comments below.